what is up everyone and welcome back to my channel today guys we are back with another video and today for the first time ever i will be doing a full collection review for a specific video game slash movie slash tv series Today we are featuring the whole collection from the movie Spider-Man No Way Home. We are featuring a total of 13 figures slash characters from the whole movie. And uh, I cannot tell you guys how excited I am about this video. Number one, uh, being a big Raimi Spider-Man uh, movie fan, Tobey Maguire fan, um, getting the chance of seeing him and some of my favorite characters in this movie was a big thrill. So now that if the fact that I have the whole collection with me, uh, it is such a big thrill and I am very happy about that and uh pretty much again uh the way that this is gonna work is that i'm gonna pretty much give like a one to two minute kind of summary of my thoughts about every figure and i am going to rank them from worst to best right so i do want to be clear there I, I don't think there's such a thing as a bad figure i think all figures were good to say the least but obviously you know we got to rank them so uh please don't be offended if i put a specific figure in last it doesn't mean that it's bad it's just that it's not as good as the others right but i am going to give pretty much a one to two minute summary about the figure my thoughts on it and i even though i am such a big fan of the movie and my nostalgia will probably get the best of me i'm going to try to be as objective and as you know as honest as i possibly can be because i do want to be clear i think this collection does have its flaws i think there is a lot of figures that you know a lot of things could have been better and if i can be honest i think hot toys got a little lazy because they knew that we were gonna have like this collection either way because of the nostalgia of the you know of the movie and the characters right but again this is something that i am very excited to do so with that being said guys let's go ahead and get started with the video okay guys. so first and foremost uh as you guys know two of these characters are not actual full figures they're more diorama display basis and that's obviously the lizard and sandman which is kind of understandable because we didn't get uh the actual actors to be in the movie because at that time COVID was at its peak so obviously we start with the lizard so the lizard was a diorama base that um um, that pretty much goes together with Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. So both Lizard and Sandman won't be part of the ranking, right? I feel like it's not fair to do a diorama, you know, to compare a diorama base to an actual full figure, right? But to me, uh, the uh, the Lizard, this diorama base, I thought it was nice. I thought the paint applications was were great, but I did not like the texture of the actual figure. I thought it was too soft, right? And I thought it could have been a little bit rough, kind of patchy. Um, now the rocks, the metal, the the electro lining surrounding the display base is nice i do also have a kind of an issue with the stand of the figure because it is kind of you know going sideways with the left hand i feel like it's kind of hard to display andrew garfield's spider-man fighting with him with the flight pull and all that it was kind of a difficult stand for me personally so i think the display base i'm sorry the diorama base for the lizard is a good one but i do think that they possibly could have done a different you know stand or different pose so that way it would have been easier to post him with spider-man and it would have been a much better i guess idea in my personal opinion but this would be uh, my thoughts on the on the lizard diorama base good but not great now the next one is sandman so sandman was the second um diorama display base now i want to be clear i feel like both lizard and sandman sandman should have been actual figures again i understand that both of the actors playing the characters weren't actually part of the movie uh they had to use kind of like cgi and previous recordings of their voices slash scenes now to me this display base is an absolute beauty uh to me i feel like the texture of the sand it feels like real sand i think it's actually actual sand because it keeps falling on my you know my display cabinets but the rocks uh the way the, the sand is melting on the hand uh everything looks great about this figure also i like the fact that there's a lot of spots where i can pose um toby mcguire spider-man and then also where the flight pole goes right that little hole right that's covered by a piece of sand i feel like the seam line is that not that even not even that noticeable at all and to me i love that because again it looks so legit my only small complaint about this display base is the lips so i feel like uh those teeth right there that um 
that are with the face i feel like they look a little bit weird i think it would have been best if they possibly kind of gave him a mean kind of um look right a kind of an angry face look to sandman with the lips closed i thought that would have looked a little bit better but that's just it other than that i think the whole display bay looks absolutely amazing no question about it one of my favorite parts of this whole collection line so i would say for both uh display bases they're good this one to me is great right but again i did want to leave them out of the actual ranking since they're not actual uh figures Okay guys, let's start with the actual ranking. Number 11, to me the worst figure of this whole collection was the black and gold Spider-Man figure. Uh, again, as I said at the beginning of the video, to me there's no such thing as a bad figure, right? But again, we have to rank them, right? So somebody has to be last and I thought this black and gold suit is was the worst figure of the whole collection. Number one, I thought the, the, that the body proportions weren't that great. I feel like the figure is too skinny. Uh, the articulations aren't that great either. Also, the way the i guess the shape of his face uh with his mask head sculpt is a little bit too small and also the way that it fits with the actual neck you know area uh it's not that great of a connection also the spider line webs don't connect that well so those type of things is what really made me not like this figure at all and then also i wasn't too you know too fond of the black and gold actual suit the way that you know the fact that it's just you know peter's regular suit but backwards uh, i thought those things really made me not like this figure that much now i think the accessories are nice uh still and all it is a good spider-man figure and i guess it's nice to have an alternative look to you know to, to tom holland's uh spider-man but again between him and the other figures that we have for the whole collection i did think this was the worst one still and all i'm not gonna say it's a bad figure i just can't go great i think it's a okay figure if i can be honest Okay, so at number 10, we have another Tom Holland figure. So now we have the battle damage suit. So the coincidence uh, about this figure and the black and gold figure is that both figures were released prior to the other ones. Um, these were released pretty much at the beginning whenever the movie was barely released. This battle damage uh, figure does have its positives. I thought the display base that it came with was really, really nice. It has a lot of accessories. I thought the, I guess the dirt parts that it has throughout the suit are nice eyes but same thing with the black and gold suit uh to me the body proportions aren't great the figure is too skinny and same thing with the mask head sculpt uh the shape is kind of weird it's too small and circular and the way that it fits with the body it is a weird connection also the spider lines don't connect with the neck and the face sculpt so those are things that i didn't like about the figure me personally right um again good figure and i would say at least a little bit better than the black and gold suit but compared to his other versions from the movie um i have to put him a 10 i hate to to be mean about it again as i mentioned before there are no bad figures right but we do have to rank them and this guy to me would be a 10 right because of the of the reasons that i just mentioned uh before uh still in all a good figure but um the battle damage suit at number 10 Okay, so at number nine, guys, we're going to do Electro. Uh, this one might be a little bit, a little bit contra controversial because uh, I saw a lot of people like the uh, Jamie Foxx head sculpt. I thought the head sculpt was a really good head sculpt. Although for some reason, for me, I feel like the head sculpt is too big compared to the body, but I'm not sure if that's just me. Now, the head sculpt has nothing to do with me putting him at number nine. Again, to me, this is a good figure, right? Uh, not a bad one at all and happy to have uh, Mr. Electro himself on the collection. I thought that Jamie the Fox did a fantastic job as Electro in this movie. To me, the outfit is nice. My issues with this figure is the articulations with the arms. I'm not sure if, if it's because of all of the armor and weapons that he has throughout his arms, but man, those arms get stuck and it is hard to move them, right? It, it, I've come to, the, to a point where I'm, I'm almost, you know, I was about to break the arm so i thought those things really made the figure you know not as likable as i would have wanted also there aren't um any any type of led lights or any type of um you know batteries or usb cable type of light ups the only thing that lights up for this figure is the arc reactor and then honestly guys it doesn't even really turn on that much but the lighting effects they don't turn on at all and i thought that that was a big missed opportunity by hot toys because to me i mean again the name says it all electro we want this 
this figure to light up right so that it looks as great as possible and the fact that it doesn't to me it is a big letdown so those are the things that make me not want to like this guy as much as i would have wanted again as i mentioned before good figure still right happy to have him in the collection but again just compared to the other ones i have to put him at number nine Okay, at number eight, uh, I hate to put this guy so low, but I, I have no choice. Uh, we're going Doc Ock, right? So Doc Ock um, has a lot of positive things about him. Uh, to me, the outfit, the mechanical arms, both of the mechanical arms, right? Well, obviously, we have the ones with the, iron, uh, with the Iron Man tech, you know, suit that goes on with it. I'm sorry, with the Iron Spider suit uh, that goes on with the mechanical arms and then also the, the normal ones. So to me, those all of those things are positive, right? Also... Um, Again, the look of it just looks absolutely amazing, but there is one reason I'm putting this guy at number eight, and there is no way you guys can disagree with me on this one, and that is that hideous head sculpt that we have for Mr. Dog Ock. Uh, number one, he does not look that much like Alfred Molina, and don't even get me started with the facial expression. I cannot tell you guys how much I despise that um, facial expression. Uh, it makes it seem like he's laughing or being goofy. I, I can't even get, like... It just pisses me off talking about the, the facial expression. To me, uh, it almost really ruined the figure for me. I can't believe I'm saying that. But uh, to me, the face sculpt, again, to me, it is the big, big part of the whole figure itself, right? It's kind of what gives life to the figure. And to me, Hot Toys really missed a lot on with, with the head sculpt. Uh, it could have been much, much better, right? And again, to me, it is not a good head sculpt at all. That's why I'm putting this guy at 8. Had they made a good head sculpt for Dog Hog, guys, I might... I might have put him at number two or number three, right? But because of that, I have to put him all the way at number eight. Okay, number seven. You guys are going to kill me with this one. So I put Andrew Garfield Spider-Man at number seven. Uh, the reason why, uh, number one, happy to have this figure. This guy, I'm a big fan of Andrew Garfield and it was such a thrill to see thrilled to see him back in action uh, as spider-man even though toby will always be number one to me i mean there's no reason why i shouldn't like andrew garfield i'm a big fan of his as well but obviously the figure does have its flaws right number one a flaw and i guess this has nothing to do with the actual figure itself right but i believe because of legal rights between hot toys and marvel uh, or sony right whatever the case might be uh, we weren't able to actually get the actual no way home andrew garfield spider-man we got the amazing seen spider-man 2 spider-man so because of that that to me was a letdown so for example andrew garfield's head sculpt is not from no way home it's from the, the amazing spider-man 2 uh also the fabric of the suit the blue parts uh they do get that damage i try to put the waist clamp from the flight post on this thing and the suit did get damaged a little bit so the way that you guys see him right now that's the way i have him displayed on my display case um also the seam line between his neck and his body uh, i feel like it's too visible so that's also a negative as well but as far as like the eye test the figure does look nice looks like the amazing spider-man so that's why he's not lower also lack of accessories make me not want to not be able to put this guy higher right so again apologies i know some of you guys might be offended with putting this guy at number seven but i just can't put him higher right i feel like the other six figures are a little bit better than Okay, number six, we have Toby. So also Toby is might be a little bit lower. So Toby Maguire is uh Toby Maguire Spider-Man is always going to be my favorite character of all time from any movie, TV series video game whatever you guys want to call it uh this guy i grew, grew up watching his movies and till this day i still watch the movies i feel like i've seen his movies dozens of times um but still and all as i mentioned at the beginning of the video i have to be honest i have to be objective uh, the figure is a good figure but it has its flaws same thing like with andrew garfield spider-man the connection between the neck and the um and his body the scene line i feel like it's too visible uh also the blue parts of the suit uh they do tend to get damaged if you guys put the waist clamp, waist clamp around it uh also the eye lenses are black 
the body itself i feel like it's too skinny he's supposed to be a little bit muscular and then also the shape of the actual mask head sculpt uh it's completely circular it's supposed to be different and i gotta tell you guys i saw so many collectors and different uh people getting a custom made toby mcguire spider-man so that lets me know that hot toys didn't do the greatest job with this guy right because again i i swear to you guys i saw dozens of collectors getting their own custom made spider-man right now the great thing about this figure is the actual fabric of the red part of the suit the silver spider web lines look absolutely awesome they look shiny and they just look beautiful on the figure so that's why i did put him a little bit above andrew garfield spider-man they're both pretty much the same figure obviously the character is different right but as far as the accessories and the things that it comes with it's almost pretty much the same figure so uh toby mcguire at number six So now we get to the top five figures of this whole No Way Home collection line where I know for a fact that I'm going to build a lot of controversy. But well, that's why I do these videos, right? So that we will, we all can have an opinion, right? And pretty much give our thoughts about this whole collection and figures, right? So I put uh, the normal Green Goblin, the original suit at number five. Uh, I, the reason I didn't put him higher is because of the suit. So if you if you guys can see from a far, far apart, the way that his uh, I guess his hands connect to his arms and then also his legs to his ankles, right? It feels like he has a bodysuit. So for example, honestly, it feels like he has a sweater and pants, right? Because obviously uh, the pants itself, right? They kind of did come kind of come up come off apart, so they're not stick together to the actual boot and then also the hands, right? So to me that part of the suit does not make it look as good as i, I would have wanted it right also uh the figure does not have a lot of articulation so it's very hard to pose him with the glider right but the positive things is number one the norman osborne uh head sculpt i thought it was a really good head sculpt and this one along with the upgraded suit does have rolling eyeballs uh also the glider was really nice and i thought that the led lights on the bottom of the glider uh turn on really bright so that's a great thing and to me my favorite part of this green goblin without question is the helmet the helmet looks terrifying it looks mean it looks scary it looks phenomenal i love the helmet right it is exactly as it is in the movie whether you want to say well actually i can't even say no way home because they did cgi right i'm going i'm going based on his look at spider-man one even though the figure is based on no way home the helmet it is absolutely amazing right so to me that's why i'm putting this guy at number five but again i can't put him higher because of the articulation and then also the way his suit fits throughout the whole um, body And then at number four, I'm going with the integrated suit. So the integrated suit was my first ever Hot Toys figure that I've ever collected. Uh, and I regret so much not doing an unboxing video for this guy. This was the only figure that I didn't do an unboxing video for uh, at the time that I had purchased them. Uh, I can't lie to you guys. I was nervous. I didn't think I had any any shot of pulling out of doing these videos. But then here we are a year later. Uh, now my only negative thing that i have to say about this figure is the body proportions again same thing like the other two tom holland figures too skinny um the articulations are good but not great but the reason i have this guy all the way at number four number one all of the accessories that it comes with uh he is the only spider-man figure for tom holland up to date that has the mechanical arms right he obviously has those mechanical uh gold arms whatever you guys want to call it right and they look absolutely awesome on the guy uh also the, the suit itself it's beautiful right the way the gold dark blue and the red look on him it's great the fabric is phenomenal right uh to me i feel like the shape of his mask head sculpt is better than the other two spider-man right so to me all of the accessories and the and the way the suit is to me that's why i have him at number four i think the reason why i couldn't have him higher is because of the body proportions and then also his tom holland head sculpt is pretty much the same as the other uh as the gold black and gold suit right so i i can't put him higher at number uh i can't put him higher than that number four right but still in all i think it's a good uh ranking for him okay at number three guys i can't believe i'm putting this guy at number three uh with all of these spider-man figures we all we seem to forget that this guy was part of the movie and part of the collection as well so it's obviously dr strange right honestly i would have put him higher 
had I not seen the Doctor Strange from the Multiverse of Madness figure. Obviously, the uh, Multiverse of Madness Doctor Strange has a much better head sculpt, right? So that's why uh, it's the better figure, right? But at the time of release this figure was absolutely awesome the clothes uh i thought the head sculpt was really really good even though even though it's not as great as the uh, multiverse of madness head sculpt it is a good head sculpt also the whole display stand right that the figure has obviously the display stand is supposed to, supposed to represent him when he's doing that spell for peter right uh, and also all of the accessories that the figure comes with uh the figure also is a kind of pretty loose one so we're able to display this figure in so many different ways also the fabric of his wardrobe right the suit itself looks absolutely amazing uh the figure again as i mentioned before does have a really good head sculpt so i really don't have many flaws about this figure um Probably the head sculpt again it's not a bad head sculpt it's a really good one but again just look just thinking about the multiverse of madness head sculpt uh, i can't help but to downgrade this one but still in all this is a really really good figure so shockingly i have strange at number three okay now the final two figures so at number two i also shockingly have the goblin with the upgraded suit from that final scene of the movie so the reason i have this guy so high is because honestly i don't think this guy has any flaws uh the figure i mean probably the only flaw would be articulation although again because of all of the accessories and the armor i really can't ask a hot toys to, to you know to give us a lot of articulations with the guy i mean at the end of the day this is not an sh figure arts figure it is a hot toys figure so it's supposed to represent authenticity not, to, not necessarily posing right but i feel like everything looks great with this guy the glider is pretty much the same one as the original suit goblin but to me the difference maker with this figure compared to the to the original goblin is that because of all the armor and all of the accessories that the suit has we don't get to see that ugly kind of way that the suit splits off off of the body and the fact that you know with the original suit as i mentioned before it seems that he has a body suit it seems like he has sweatpants and a sweatshirt right or a sweater right not with this figure because of the armor kind of surrounding that part of the suit you guys cannot tell that there's any seam lines everything seems to be connected so very well and also i give hot toys props they pretty much got every single detail of the whole uh i guess you know of, of the whole armor correctly again the norman osborne head sculpt is really really good as well it has rotating eyeballs just like the original suit so to me this is a really really good figure i would say great without question uh really cannot find any flaws maybe you guys could as i always like to say let me know in the comments if i'm if i'm overrating this guy in any way so but again uh, to me the upgraded suit goblin at number two And finally, to end the video, the best figure from the whole collection. To me, guys, this is a no-brainer. And to me, Hot Toys saved the best for last, literally. Uh, we have the red and blue Tom Holland Spider-Man suit, which we just did an unboxing on last week. If you guys want to uh, watch it, uh, feel free to check my YouTube channel. Uh, we have the unboxing for him and also the other No Way Home figures. Uh, to me, this guy is not just the best figure of the collection. To me, this is the best Spider-Man figure I have ever seen by Hot Toys. Uh, everything is phenomenal about this figure um, the head sculpt it is perfect it is an, a perfect Tom Holland head sculpt the mask head sculpt also the shape of it is amazing the fabric of the suit is beautiful the blue part of the suit is immaculate it is amazing it looks great the display base with the chimney and the snow and the apartment you know rooftop it looks perfect as well this guy has no flaws whatsoever the only thing that could have been better is the the seam line or well not the seam lines but more like the uh the ball joints between the shoulders elbows i feel like they're too noticeable and it seems like it seems like the suit kind of um gets stuck in between the shoulder and his chest neck area right so those are things that could have been better right but at the same time it's not a big flaw just looking at this guy uh right here just being displayed he looks perfect i cannot tell you guys how much i love this figure without question my best figure of the whole collection for now one last thing about the tom holland head sculpt again the rotating eyeballs it's the big difference maker um 
there is no question to me in my mind that this is the best figure of the whole collection right he has to be number one uh and this is by far honestly this is by far to me this figure saves the collection right if it wasn't for him i thought that this collection line i wouldn't say a disaster but i wouldn't say that it had really uh was below expectations right that really hot toys dropped the ball but because of this tom holland figure to me at least the collection is good right um so yeah no question about it tom holland at number one and pretty much this would be the whole ranking for all of the figures for no way home okay guys back to where we started with all of the figures right together right uh, as i mentioned at the beginning of the video so happy that i have all of these figures together as a big spider-man fan i am so excited and it is a big thrill to, for me to have this whole collection together right all of the figures have their goods and their negatives right um so for me my final thoughts about the this whole collection right um again yes very happy to have them but i'm not gonna let nostalgia get the best of me and not state the obvious uh to me i feel like hot toys got lazy with this collection um you know the Doc Ock head sculpt, right? Uh, the Electro figure missing the, you know, LED lights. Uh, the fact that Sandman and Lizard weren't figures, but just display bases. Um, you know, the the other Spider-Man figures for Tom Holland, uh, Andrew Garfield and P and Tobey Maguire's figures not being the best that they possibly possibly could have been. Uh, to me, all these figures have a small flaw. Uh, I would say the only flaw. I'm sorry, the only figure that doesn't have a flaw would be the new red and blue suit. But other than that, all of the other figures could have been better. Um, again, to me, all figures are good, but they're not great, right? And to me, for such a such a uh, legendary movie, such an iconic movie, I just thought that Hot Toys got a little bit lazy with these figures, right? So uh, now again, they did make them years ago, right? Um, so I guess maybe if they were were to remake them again, I guess they could have been, they would be better. Uh, but still in all right i just think the collection could have been better but still in all i am happy to have these guys i would say from a uh, from a scale of one to ten i would give it a seven right if it wasn't for the red and blue suit i could have possibly gone five but because of the red red and blue suit uh it adds a couple of points so i'm going to go with a seven out of ten please guys let me know in the comments what you think about the collection where do you guys think about the uh ranking that i did and be honest right as I always like to say uh all that i ask is for you guys to be nice right um you know not to throw insults or in any way uh but always be honest right if you guys disagree with me let me know i am always open to suggestions and i'm always open to hearing what you guys have to say about uh this uh these type of collection um videos also since this is the first time that i do a collection video like this let me know if this is something that you guys like for the channel for me to do in the future what are things that i can do better and what are things that i can do to make this kind of connect collection line review more attractive you know if i can say it that way way uh, but again let me know what you guys think about this whole collection and what my thoughts are about the about the about the figures and then also let me know which figures you have collected or which figures you guys have coming up right uh, but for now guys this is going to be it for this video right as always want to thank you for the continued support and for uh, supporting me on my channels and accounts as i mentioned it, um, before if this is the first time that you are watching me and you are our hot toys fans feel free to like this video subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so that you're always updated whenever i drop videos like these or when i drop unboxing and review videos a reminder that i am also on instagram and tiktok the links to that are on the description of the video uh, feel free to follow me on my website so that way you're always updated with anything that i drop on my channel for now guys this is going to be it for this uh, spider-man no way home collection review thank you once again for tuning in and i will see you next time